think we're good to go here. Looks like we're connected. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Can everyone hear me okay? Looks like, seems like everyone can. I, you guys can't believe how crazy of a morning it's been. I was trying to get this microphone to work the entire time and all of a sudden my mic didn't work. So I had this whole mic stand, had it all set up and then this morning everything just stopped working. Thank you Zuzia for responding. Hi Harshin. All right, awesome. Can't hear you. Okay, hang on one sec here, guys. Sorry, it's a little bumpy here. I know, Zach, last night I was trying to figure out how to do it so this morning I wouldn't have any issues. Hi, Ashley. And what happened was, was I accidentally clicked start stream and I thought that there would be one other step in between, but I guess it didn't work out. So that was a little bit problematic. But I think we're good to go here. A lot of people are saying they can't hear me. Okay, so I think Harshin is the only one that can't hear me louder. Okay, let me try and raise this. Can you guys hear me a little bit better now? There, wa there was no last live. Let me see how we're doing here. Sorry guys, this is the first time I've done anything like this. So I'm really trying to, there we go. All right, awesome. I'm trying to just up it up. Okay, cool, wow, look at that. Everyone's saying yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool, cool. All right guys, yeah, no, it's it's been crazy. We So a lot of you guys know, a lot of orthodontists are just starting to go back into work. So it's been wild. We're having a lot of ups and downs. I was like, you know what, let me do this live. Let me answer a lot of questions. I got a bunch of these lined up and I'm gonna answer the questions that you guys are putting in the comments section too. But if you guys can see like right here, my nose is like super red because we're wearing so much PPE that it's, it's been crazy these days. It's, it's so like hot and, but we're, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am to be back and practicing. And you know, I'm sure you guys are super excited that your orthodontists are back to see you guys as well. So. I know it's a little bit laggy. I'm going to do my best to try to iron out all of these problems. Please be patient because this is my first live. But I'm also going to put this for replay. So I'm going to have a little click so you guys can jump back to any questions you guys would have. Um, I'm going to live by actually going through some questions that were asked on the Braces Club as well as on Facebook community. And with these questions, I'm going to go through and we're going to kind of I have a random number generator so I can answer a lot of these things and then we'll kind of see how that plays out. Yeah, I see that is a little laggy. I'm super sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to do my best here. OK, awesome. Yeah, if this is too laggy, I do apologize. I'm just giving this a, a, a first shot here. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hop in and do some questions. I have a little random number generator, so if I don't get to your question, I'll get to it in a future one. But in the meantime, we're going to answer these questions. So let me run that number generator here. The audio is perfect. Okay. I'm hearing that the audio, yeah, I'm just, yikes, this is very choppy. You know what, we're going to work at ironing through some of these things. Let me see if there's anything I can do for this video. Okay, well, we're just going to push through and then we'll try to fix the video for the next lives. I think the issue is that the kilobytes per second are just too high, but I'll figure that all out. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer the question. The first question I have here is actually from the face from uh, YouTube and it's from Ella Yi. That's her handle. And she asked, can you explain how to fix an overbite? Because I have a weird appliance in my mouth called a Mara or something like that that's supposed to fix my overbite. So the way I want to address that is an overbite can be caused by two different things or a little bit more than that. But it's, it's an issue of the upper jaw being either too far forward 
or the lower jaw being too far back or a combination of those two. So if the upper jaw is too far forward, the thing is, is you can have the teeth sticking too far out or the jaw actually being too far forward. Now, if the jaw is too far forward, the old way we used to treat these things was actually using headgear. But that's not too popular anymore these days. And a lot of the times that if the upper jaw is too far forward, we actually have a fold right here between the nose and the lip. And that's like a really like acute angle. So a lot of the times if the upper jaw is too far forward, it's just treated by like extraction of two teeth on the top, which I talked about in one of my videos about like uh, camouflage treatment, right? But if the lower jaw is too far back, that can be corrected in a number of ways. If you're younger, that can be treated by using something called a functional appliance. And what Ella was asking, Amara is one of those appliances. So let's say that the lower jaw is too far back, right? The Mara actually encourages, let me get this out here. It actually encourages you to bite and posture forward. And what this does is it actually encourages the lower jaw to grow forward as well as has somewhat of a headgear effect where it has the upper teeth going backwards. Uh, sorry, yeah, the upper teeth going backwards. So Amara is actually used to encourage the lower jaw to grow forward. So that was Ella's question. Um, let me hop on and do, let me look at some of the questions that we're getting in the stream here. Can you do a video? Wow, is this the most common position? Man, this is super laggy. I see what you guys are saying. I am, I am so sorry that it's being like this. Um, but I will try my best. I'm probably not even gonna repost this because the audio, it's so loud. Um, so for the next question, I'm actually gonna, it's from the Braces Club um, from Christy. And she asks, do you re suggest the removal of wisdom teeth before treatment? And do some of your patients get to keep your wisdom teeth? Now, that's a really good question because a lot of people have concerns when it comes to wisdom teeth. And with wisdom teeth, I generally say, more often than not, wisdom teeth don't fit into the arch. But there are cases where the wisdom teeth do fit. So it's not everyone has their wisdom teeth removed. It's one of those things that we evaluate every patient case by case. Um, but more often than not, there's generally not enough room in the dental arch for all of your permanent teeth plus your wisdom teeth. And evolutionarily speaking, there's a lot of people that are not having wisdom teeth. We're actually having a decrease in the amount of wisdom teeth because they're just not functional. Um, it doesn't increase your chewing efficiency. It doesn't do anything like that. So whether people get their wisdom teeth out before, after, or during treatment is really dependent on the case. Um, let's say your wisdom teeth have developed enough and they're going to impede and impact your orthodontic treatment. Well, in those cases, I actually would recommend the wisdom teeth be removed prior to starting orthodontic treatment. But let's say you're a little bit younger. Let's say you're you know, 12, 13 years old and your wisdom teeth have not yet developed. Well, in those cases, I would recommend let's just monitor them try to do the orthodontics and see if it will fit. If not, then I usually will recommend they get removed towards the end of your treatment, if not after your treatment. So I hope that helps answer that question some. Can you please see, is it possible to get braces? Whoa, that, whoa, 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 if you have loose teeth. I would not encourage you to have braces if you have a permanent loose tooth. So before you get any orthodontic treatment done, you should be seen by your general dentist before coming into your orthodontist or at least before getting your braces put on. This is because when we move your teeth, we wanna make sure that the gums are in a healthy position, the teeth don't have any cavities on them, and that's one of the things that we evaluate with treatment. Okay. These are a little bit quick here. So let me look at the next one. The next question comes from the, the Braces Club on Facebook, and if you guys haven't joined that yet, I highly encourage you. I'll put a link in the description of this stream. But uh, Cheatham asks, what should the progression be? Do you go from bands to power chains? Is it bad to go back to bands? And by bands, I'm pretty sure what they're referring to is the color ties on the teeth, those single ligature ties. Now, generally we do begin with those in light wires, but it doesn't mean that you can't go from having ligature ties to power chains to back to ligature ties. It doesn't have a sequential progression in your treatment. So basically, if you are to start with power chains, oh, sorry, if you are to start with those single color ties, it doesn't mean that you are going backwards in your treatment if after your power chains, you go back to those single ties. So I know that could be concerning because a lot of people think that power chains are the end of your treatment. Um, but a lot of the times we will go back to those single ties, especially when we're doing like finishing and detailing, which I've described in a previous video. Okay, I see another question here. Moham's asking, 
How much time do I need to wait after getting my teeth removed to get my braces on? Well, this is a very case dependent question. Um, if your orthodontist recommended the extraction of the teeth, then he or she might tell you they want to see you the same day or they might want to see you months later. So it really depends on your case. I know that's not a great answer to your question, but it really is dependent on your case. You should consult with them before getting started with your treatment. I see Gigi from Ethiopia. Hi, oh, I'm so glad that these videos are helpful for you. I'm really sorry that this stream is kind of laggy, guys, but we're doing we're doing our best over here um, to get it all figured out for you. Um, are magnetic retainers as effective as traditional fixed retainers? Magnetic retainers, I have not seen much of. Um, sometimes it's used. It's not a very popular way of using a retainer, um, but I have heard of them before. Misty, I see this question about the twin block a lot. Um, I saw you posting it earlier. The twin block is very, very similar to the Mara, what I was describing earlier. I actually have a video about a Herbst appliance and all of these th things are very similar. So what it does is it actually encourages that lower jaw to grow forward to help correct an overbite. So if an overbite is what I'm referring, everyone look at this, everyone's excited about twin blocks. Okay, so twin blocks, like I said, are very, very similar and they're used to encourage the lower jaw to move forward. Now, unlike a Mara or a Herbst appliance, a twin block is actually removable. So you have to actually wear this for it to function. So they're a removable appliance used to encourage growth of the lower jaw, basically. Can we remove wisdom teeth to create space to correct an overjet? Unfortunately, that is not a popular way of correcting overjet because when we want to correct overjet, which is when your upper teeth stick too far forward compared to your lower teeth, we want to make room to bring those teeth back. Now, you're asking if we can remove wisdom teeth, which are the furthest teeth back in the arch. And a lot of the times that, that won't work unless we're using something like a headgear or tads to drive those teeth backwards. Generally, if we want overjet correction, what we'll use is maybe extracting the first premolars, maybe sometimes the second premolars, to bring those teeth backwards. I see Andy has posted this question a number of times. Can you make a video on the most common positions for elastics? Yes, I did review them in my big video called elastics. Those are the most common way elastics are worn, but there are separate, different, more unique ways. And I probably will do a second follow-up video on those elastics just to help iron out some of the questions of different types um, of elastic patterns. Okay, I'm gonna hop into another question here from the Braces Club. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing a random number generator and this is how I'm coming up with these questions. Um, but Kimberly asked on the Braces Club, can you explain what a button does? So a button is an attachment on teeth and basically it's not a bracket. So you can't put a wire through a button. Basically it's just a handlebar that your orthodontist can use to either bring a tooth down, to rotate it, to use it for elastics. Buttons can be used for several, several different things. And the main purpose of them is to basically serve as, like I said, a handlebar. Um, but the wire doesn't go through it. It's something that's used temporarily, either on the cheek side of the teeth until we can get the bracket on the tooth. Or sometimes what we can do is put a button on the tongue side, the lingual, and that way we can run rubber bands off of that. We can use it as piggybacks to bring the tooth rotate and stuff like that. So buttons can be used for a lot of different, it's less bulky than a bracket, so it doesn't irritate your tongue as much, but it still serves to have an attachment on your teeth. Um, can you randomly ask your dentist to remove your braces? Are they allowed to? Say you're ready and you think they look good. And you just say, take them off. Will they because I want to? Well. It, your orthodontist doesn't want to keep you in braces longer than you have to be in braces, okay? So if you're saying you want them off, I think that's a conversation that you should have with your orthodontist. A lot of the times they're working on something. They want you to correct something. They want to correct something for you and they will remove your braces when you're completed. But a lot of the times um, they, they, they won't want to keep you in braces longer than they have to. So I would encourage you to have that conversation with your orthodontist and see what they say, okay? see here do we really need to wear retainers for life or will the teeth go back to their old place be honest well I'm, I try to always be honest on this channel but yes so retainers I always recommend 24 7 wear for the first couple of months up to a year and at that point you want to wear them at least 
at nights for the rest of your life. Or, as I like to say, half jokingly, for as long as you want your teeth to remain straight. This is because your teeth are constantly receiving a force from the tongue, your cheek, and there's always these forces that are causing your teeth to either be spaced out or crowded. So yes, you do have to wear your retainers for the rest of your life if you want your teeth to be straight. Um, I still wear mine and I got my braces off probably about eight years now, eight years ago. And you know, if I don't wear it for a couple of days, it still feels tight, which means that the teeth are shifting. So yes, please wear your retainers if you went through the treatment. I mean, it was a long journey. Um, you know, it was, it was difficult for you to go through it. You know, you had to maintain hygiene. It was expensive. So please wear your retainers so that your teeth don't go back to where they were beforehand. Okay. Um, here's another question from Isla saying roughly how far along in the process does it take to get springs? It really depends. Um, if it's for crowding, it's relatively early on in your treatment. You can get those coil springs to open up space. But if it's you're referring to springs for like overbite or underbite correction, that's a little bit further along in the process. I'm gonna hop to another question that we have here. Is it still choppy for you guys? Is this still laggy? It looks on my stream as though it's a little bit laggy. And you know what? I, I think what I, I'm actually gonna do is just answer one or two more questions and I'm gonna sign off here so that I can figure out how to fix this lagginess um, and choppiness um, so that we don't have this issue again moving forward. Okay, so the last question I'm gonna ask right now is from, let me see, where was here? The, the Nerdy Japan from Facebook and it asks, will extractions make my face look different? Now, it really depends what the extractions are done for. If your extraction is you know, done because you have so much overcrowding and we need just that space to align the teeth, then no, there will be no impact on your face or minimal impact on your facial changes. That's because if we take out the teeth for the crowding, we're literally gonna use up all of that space to align the remaining teeth so they will have no impact on your soft tissue. But let's say you have a really big overbite and we take out two teeth on the top or something along those lines to correct a big overjet, right? In that case, yes, it will have an impact on your facial appearance, but generally we don't take out teeth unless it's gonna make the face look better. Um, this is for cases like, let's say double protrusion where your lips stick out too far and you have to strain to close that lower lip. Um, or in cases of an underbite or an overbite. So in certain cases, yes, it will change the facial appearance of your, teeth, your lips, um, not necessarily the jaws, but most of the time, if we extract for crowding, no, it will not have too big of an impact on your facial appearance. And generally, when we extract, it will make the facial appearance look better. Okay. Um, I love all the questions you guys have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write all these down. I'm going to try to address them in either another video. I absolutely want to do another one of these lives, but I hate how laggy it is. And I am so sorry for this. Um, it, it was a little bumpy, um, but we learned a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will do another one of these soon. Um, thank you all for signing in and I will definitely, definitely try my best to make sure that this is fixed um, before we do this again next time. All right, guys, hope you guys all stay safe. I know it's crazy out there, but thank you again for joining in and I will catch you guys next time on hopefully a better live